Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to achieve easy, super sharp buttercream edges on all of your cakes. And all of the tools that I've used in this video are linked in the description box below, so make sure to check that out. So before you start filling the cake, you'll need to make sure that all of your cake layers are level. And I always use this Wilton cake leveler for this. And I tort my cakes into two layers per cake and as you can see you can adjust the height of your cake layers as well and you can lock it into place so it won't move as you saw through the cake. I always use Swiss meringue buttercream for filling my cakes and crumb coating and final coating my cakes and I have a video recipe linked in the description box below as well. As you know, cake decorating can take a long time, so to make sure that my cakes stay fresh and moist, I soak my cake layers with simple syrup, and that's equal parts sugar and equal parts water, and I use boiled water and dissolve my sugar in it, and then I use a soap bottle to spray it on top of my cake layers. I also love using these Wilton cake circles because they have a hole in the center already and I always use a center dowel when I have a tiered cake so this comes in handy all the time. Add a bit of buttercream on top of your cake board to make the first cake layer stick to the cake board and then you can start filling your cake. If you have a soft filling like a cream cheese or a lemon curd, uh, I advise to pipe a border of buttercream onto the edges like I'm doing with this Oreo buttercream and then you can fill the soft filling inside of the dam you've piped. A buttercream dam on the edges just prevents your soft filling from oozing out into your final buttercream finish and if you're covering the cake with fondant it can also affect the way that your fondant behaves because fondant and moisture don't go well together so so uh, if you have a soft feeling like a lemon curd, it could melt through your fondant. I flipped the last cake layer right side up with the caramelized part on the outside so it's less crummy when you're crumb coating and final coating your cake with buttercream. And now I'm giving the cake a crumb coat that basically is locking in all of your crumbs so they don't end up in your final buttercream finish. I do this by adding a generous amount of buttercream to the sides and top of the cake and then scraping it off with a cake scraper. As I'm scraping off the excess buttercream, there is buttercream that will accumulate onto my cake scraper and I'm wiping it off once in a while into my bowl. And I'm scraping it to the point that I feel the cake board that's underneath the cake layer. So that's kind of my guideline. If you have any gaps that appear while you're smoothing out your cake, it could mean that you don't have enough buttercream on that spot. So just fill it in with some extra buttercream and then continue smoothing it out with your cake scraper. When you're happy with the smoothness on the sides of your cakes, you can go to the top of the cake and remove the excess buttercream by swiping from the outer edge to the center of your cake. And then chill your crumb coat for about an hour in the fridge. When your cake is chilled, add a generous amount of buttercream to the top of the cake and smooth it out a little. You want a thick layer of buttercream because you want a bit of leeway when we're going to flip the cake upside down and check if it's level. Because when the cake is not level, you can press it down a bit on the sides um, and the buttercream will just even it out. And if you have a thick layer, you have more space to level out your cake. And don't forget to check if your cake is level from multiple angles. So just turn your cake around and check with a leveler if your cake is level. And if you're happy with the levelness of your cake, you can add a generous amount of buttercream to the sides and smooth off the excess buttercream with a cake scraper. To achieve straight sides while you're smoothing out the buttercream, you'll need to make sure that the bottom of your cake scraper is flush with the turntable and the side of your cake scraper is perpendicular to the cake. 
And when you're happy with the smoothness on the side of the cake, you can remove that extra lip of buttercream that accumulated on the top of the cake by swiping it inwards. And then chill the cake for at least an hour or overnight if possible to make sure that your cake is completely cold. After your cake has been chilled, you can flip it right side up again and remove the baking paper from the top. And as you can see, it has a few ridges and a few gaps. You can simply fill it in with a bit of buttercream and smooth it out again. And because the cake is cold, the buttercream that you will use to fill in the gaps will set immediately. And this way you won't distort any of the smooth and straight edges that you've worked so hard for. This is how I achieve my super sharp edges on all of the cake layers. It's an easy and fast way, it takes a lot of flipping, but it gets the result done every time. And thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you next week again. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Mwah.